Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how to debug types in MyPy. I'm going to show you two useful tools and some kind of quirks about them. But uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so in order to get started, we are going to set up a virtual environment and install MyPy. Install MyPy. And we're just going to have a little demo script for this, I guess. Stiff foo, which returns int on our return. Return. Well, actually, let's make it more complicated than that. Um, y equals x plus 5.5 .5 and z equals x to the 10 and return y plus z. I guess we'll change this to float. Um, now, you know, as as a person reading this, it's you know fairly straightforward that y is a float and z is a integer. Um, but sometimes you might be in more complicated situations where it's really hard to understand what MyPy thinks about a particular type. Um, and of course, if we run this right now, MyPy should be happy with our existing code, and it is. And uh, you also have other situations where, like, I don't know, q equals foo five, for instance. Um, and it might be useful to figure out what MyPy thinks about a particular type. And if we put in, uh, you know, well, we'll start with the most straightforward one, which is reveal type. And what reveal type does is it is a special built-in specifically for MyPy. Uh, and it only only works in MyPy. So if you run it in a normal interpreter, like if I were, were to go python 3 t.py, you'll see that I'll get a name error reveal type. And this is important to make sure that you remove it from your code before you deploy because course you'll get an error now of course any any good linter worth its salt will tell you that you know it's done to find names so if you run flick eight or whatever on it it's going to do that uh, but what reveal type does at typing time is it tells you the type of this value and then uh, mypy will exit non-zero so it, mypy also fails during this as well i believe go dollar question mark yeah so it it produces an intentional error that prints out the type that MyPy believes it is at that point. So you can see here, the revealed type at line four from this reveal type statement is builtins.int. Now there's actually a little slight different thing that um, MyPy can show here. So if we do reveal type of y uh, and run this again. Oh, actually, interesting. Did not have to do Oops, that's not why I wanted Q. Huh, <laughs> why is it not giving me uh, type inference? Okay, well, anyway, there is a there is a case where reveal type will tell you builtins.int like this, and sometimes it'll tell you with a star. And what the star means is that it has inferred that type. Oh, I think it has to be a generic. Maybe we'll try it with uh, a type error. Uh, type var t bound equals int. Let's try that. That's a little bit cheating. Real type is t minus one. Well then, <laughs> that's not what I expected. Um, any. That's weird. Okay, but anyway, there is a state where mypy will infer a type, and so instead of getting, uh, you know int or float here, you'll get int star or float star. And this doesn't mean pointer like it may mean in other languages. It just means that MyPy has done some magical thinky bits and figured out that it's a particular type. Now, along with reveal type, there's another um, MyPy built-in that's useful. And I actually recently learned about this one. So I've I've been dealing with MyPy for like, you know, several years, it feels like. Well, has it been years? Yeah, it's been years. And uh, I didn't realize this until recently. There is a reveal locals, which tells you all of the local variables that are in scope, as well as their types, which is, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll, I think way more useful than reveal type is, because, uh, you know, you get the names and the value, or the names and the types. Um, I find this really, really useful. But anyway, those are the kind of two ways to debug types, reveal type and reveal locals, as well as the little tidbit about the star, which I couldn't get to happen for some reason. I, I would have thought y was an inferred type here, but I guess it knows explicitly because this is a literal. I guess if we did, uh, maybe if we did this, then we can get reveal type. 
I'm grasping at straws. I guess it's not working. I don't know. There's usually, there, there's often a star that you'll see sometimes, but you'll have to take my word for it. Anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.